G'day everybody and welcome to the Men of War Assault Squad Grand Final. Yes, we have Constantini going up against Rochford J. We'll be spectating the German team. Rochford J struggling on the other side. I'll link in the description of his video. His, I'll be linked to his channel and videos you can watch from the American perspective. But tonight we will be watching over Rochford J as he will be going up against Constantini on the shelves in his quest to become number one in the Men of War Assault Squad Anzac community 1v1 tournament. Here it is. This is the first game. It's on Shelton. I'm pretty damn excited right now. And we see Rochard spreading out his Assault Squad nice and beautifully here to start off with. It's going to be some nice high-level play to begin. And let's just have a uh, look down this beautiful river. Because that was a very, very nice uh, grenade there, I think. It exploded back there. Yes, Rochford is destroying that cover so he can get straight into the river. And that's a nice grenade there up to Constantini. He's probably going to have to watch out for the grenade. Gets one kill early on, Mr. Rochford. So well played there. He's also got a guy in around here somewhere capturing this point. No, he doesn't have a guy in around here anymore. Constantini... <clears throat> Sorry, he's also doing some very, very nice early flanking with that assault SMG soldiers. Able to get a grenade kill and then gun the rifleman in the face who was running around the corner. And here comes some shotgun troopers from Constantini. The shotgun spam is a very, very liable tactic in this map and in this game, indeed. Especially in urban areas, you should always remember to spam those shotgunners out. But this is a very, very nice machine gunner position by Rochford J in the top of this shelf building. It's zero to zero right now. The score should be set to 50, and I'm going to let Strat know. Dot, 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 dot. Probably should have picked up on that a little bit earlier, but here comes a second assault squad from Rochford, Rochford J, probably heading over the right-hand side to try and neutralize the effect of the shotgunners, but the grenades and the micro skill of Constantini is just going to be too strong for Rochford, I reckon. And my money is actually on Constantini to take the first game of this best of three grand final. And he's... SMG soldiers are going to try and gun down the shotgunner, but it's got such a decent range on it. I think it's like 35, 25 meters. Obviously gets killed there. It was just sheer weight of numbers got him. But um. So look at the distance, that was a ridiculous shot, and then he shot that one as well, there's another two, four shotgun troopers are going to take out all of these assault squad soldiers, there you go, you see him shooting there, he's probably about to be shot in the face by another shotgun, there's some very, very heavy micro going on right now, as we see him trying to throw grenades over the building, very nice grenade there by Constantini, nearly picks up two kills, and then you see the shotgun back here, he's probably trying to reload, unfortunately couldn't. I think Const uh, Rochford should probably try and pick up all the shotguns he can and all the ammo he can if he can micro quick enough in a 1v1. This point looks like it's going to be the one that's hotly contested over. It's 0-0 zero to zero right now. Stagnant warfare, nobody ticking up. Just a nice little infantry battle for us to enjoy going on. The left-hand side of, Con of Rochford actually sees Constantini's machine gun to move up and get gunned down the back, so that's a little bit of MP wasted there. But back to the right-hand side, where most of the action is at the moment, the shotgun is scattered around this point, which is very, very good play there from Constantini. I think Rochford needs a grenade into this area as that is where I think the shotgunner is, but once Constantini captures this point, he will start ticking up towards that glorious 50 mark, which actually is going to be 50. Oh no, he won't begin ticking up, as at the same time, Rochford J on the left-hand side has been able to decap the point, and we are still at 0-0. Zero, zero. Constantini working so hard to capture this point, he's actually forgot about his own back right-hand point, and is currently struggling to capture it. Here comes some rifleman. No, it's a sniper from Const, so I hope Rochford saw that, as I'm pretty sure the veteran sniper should be out. There he is from Rochford J. Very, very good play. Some more assault squad spamming going on. And while he's decapped this left-hand point and bought himself some time, there's just a regular rifleman going out right now. As Ooh, that would have been a very, very handy double kill on those riflemen there. But the riflemen on this left-hand point for Constantini are doing the job. There is another kill of another assault rifleman soldier. And this assault rifleman back here will probably be picked off. But I think... No, I thought he picked up the bar. No, he did not. But that will probably be picked off in the meantime. He comes a nice little flank from Rochford J. Very nice flank, I might add. Trying to pin down that AT support infantry, and he did. Now he just needs to kill off his AT soldier, and he did. So he's got a very, very nice advantage if he decides to bring in a 222 to surprise these shotgunners. And this is beautiful work by Rochford J, by the way. Pushed on that left hand side because he knew Constantini was focusing heavily on this right hand side urban area with his shotgunners. And was just able to decap it, just bought himself some time so he could actually come through here with the micro needed to take out shotgunners. 
and easily wipe out all opposing forces. It's currently 1-0. to zero. Rochford has the slightest of leads, ladies and gentlemen, but it's going to go back to stagnant as it's 50% now to the German team, but ooh, very, very nice shotgun placement there from Constantini. They're better than SMG soldiers to be hiding around the corner. Regular squad from Constantini coming to reinforce our right-hand side. I think I should turn the game up a little bit as surely it should be louder than this, but more shotgunners from Constantini. Jeez, I can't wait to hear that shotgunner noise again. It's probably one of the better sounds of weapons in the game. Nice grenading there for Constantini, making sure he clears out this building. Rochford would be smart not to make these guys shoot right now that are in this building. He'd probably be smarter just to lay them down and keep them there for later on. Maybe if one of the two of them had an AT grenade, he could just pop out and easily get some kills on them. But here we go. Four shotgunners in a regular squad trying to take this point. I think, I think this will be very, very easily capped by Rochford. Just quietly. Nice grenade there by Constantini. I meant Constantini will capture him and he gets a nice double kill to go with that other assault soldier. Then he throws the second grenade into this soldier and gets a very, very nice kill. Well played. Well microed. Mr. Constantini. Rochford J is struggling to keep up with the constant shotgunner and grenade spam going on from Mr. Concettini. And here comes the 2 2 of Rochford that I was talking about earlier. I can't hear any counter such in the like of, uh, such in the form of a Stuart. He might be waiting for a croc Concettini as I think that's going to be a very, very good tactic as Rochford is constantly having to buy these assault squads. I don't think he's going to be able to pump out a H or anything like that anytime soon. But here we go. This is the point that he wants. He wants to really pressure this point so it takes Constantini's focus off this right-hand side, which is currently being swarmed by infantry. There's red dots everywhere on the top right-hand corner of the map. There's also some infantry trying to do some covert operations into the back lines. Rochford J is going to have to be very, very careful. It's 1-0 to zero right now, but we're probably going to see Constantini start to tick up very very, very shortly and make the game one all. Jeez, the scoreline is absolutely steaming along at the moment. See, this soldier has discovered that there's someone in there. Can't shoot him or kill him, but he knows they're in there. And I think Constantini... Oh, that's a bad angle. Constantini should probably take the appropriate actions to take it out. Here comes the Stuart. Engine damage on the 2 2 so that will be taking no further part. And it will probably halt the attack that... Uh, can see how this side is going with a Stuart and Marine. So very, very nice buy there by Concertini. And he blows up the 2 to do to make sure there can be no repairs made. And Rochford is retreating probably back to his side of the river in the coming seconds. Here comes some Brandenburgers from, Ro uh, from Rochford. That is definitely what he needs right now. If he can sneak the Panzerfausts into these bushes, they can wreak absolute havoc. Because you can just sneak along uh, the... Uh, river or the whatever the hell you want to call it and just pop a Brandenburger in there maybe even around there sometimes and you just get so many kills it's not even funny at the amount of kills of vehicles that you can get and the marine squad from Constantini's coming to this left hand side to enforce I suppose that's a very very good idea considering the right hand side is completely covered right now but it looks like Rochford might be trying to surround the uh, point and kind of cut off reinforcements coming through but I suppose that's going to be very very hard with the shotgunner and machine gunner spam that is going on right now. Here comes a nice grenade from Constantini. Hopefully that's a very, very nice grenade throw there. He's definitely going to get himself a kill on that machine gunner. No, he's not. He's going to get the shotgunner. No, he did get the machine gunner. I thought that was the shotgunner up there, and that was the machine gunner, but clearly I was wrong. And just that sound is beautiful as he gets it. Cops a sniper sniper around in the face from somewhere. I don't know where that sniper is from Rochford J, but I'm sure it's around. Here comes a Panzer three from Rochford to the right-hand side. Looking to clear it out, maybe. That Stuart is very, very deadly to a Panzer three. It's a serious threat in Schalt and in Kreuzberg, in any other 1v1 map that is heavily urbanized. It is such a... Uh, Deadly weapon, the Stuart. More deadly than the Panzer III, because like an APCR shell from a uh, Stuart can pretty much knock out a uh, Panzer III in one hit, and also the AP shell of the Panzer III can easily take out a Stuart. But I don't know. I think people are a lot more careful with their Stuarts when they come up against a Panzer III trying to take it out, because they know that they have the weaker armor, and that forces them to use it better. But let's have a look at the middle. The Stuart is currently doing some very, very nice work in the middle. The conscripts of Constantini are capping this point. But unfortunately, I don't think he will be able to... Oh, very nice position by Constantini. Surely not. Unfortunately, he gets main damage. If he was able to pop an APCR shell through that little gap and get the kill on the Panda 3, that probably would have been the play of the tournament coming so late in this tournament. Indeed, Rochford is trying to use that uh, gap to shoot through, but unfortunately, he's getting all building right now. Probably wants to snipe that machine gun out of the uh, building first, but no, he gets the track damage on the Stuart, so that will eventually die. There you go, hull damage on the Stuart. Thanks, Constantini, for 
let's say, not making my Stuart Theory look as good. But that would have been very, very impressive if he, if he was able to get a kill through this nice little gap. I actually didn't even know it existed. So there goes uh, my uh, theory that I was probably one of the better people on Shelt, as in I knew every nook and cranny. But unfortunately, I don't. Was that an AT? That was a bazooka that just missed. That is very, very unlucky by Constantine. There, I saw it fly over the top and hit the building. Good news, though, it took down the front half of this building. I don't know if that was taken down by the Stuart, but I'm sure that that uh, bazooka did some sort of damage to it. This is a Brandenburger looking to cap back against the conscripts, but unfortunately, he's got to be inside that zone. There's actually two Brandenburgers, but unfortunately, they are not inside that zone and will not be capping. There we go. They're finally in there. Probably expect to see some grenades thrown into there, and this side of the map needs to be destroyed for Rochford. He needs to try and maybe get a Goliath, or maybe he's Panzer three back over here and start destroying this side of the map. It is 1 to 21 right now. Constantini holds a pretty commanding lead as Rochford is beginning to capture up the right hand side and the middle. Nice grenade throw. Won't get the kill on the conscript, unfortunately, for the Brandenburger of Rochford. And the game is just kind of taking a little bit of a mellow. We're in a little bit of a musical interlude, if you may. And the middle is currently being capped by the Americans as everyone's just kind of. Not put down the weapons, but everything's just kind of mellow and cool. Everyone's just sitting back, I suppose, except for the right-hand side, which is seeing some HE shell action from Rochford. Very nice counter, actually, to the uh, shotgunners, I guess, because the shotgunner isn't going to be able to take out a Panzer three unless you get very, very lucky with AT grenades. And actually, I wouldn't be surprised if I seen, uh, see someone run along through here, because I'm pretty sure that the back lines of uh, Rochford would be infested by Constantini's infantry. Surely I would expect it to after he had that such a I had such a dominant start earlier on, but the right hand point, which should be Rochford's now is, the middle point, which should be contested, is currently contested, but it's being capped by the Americans at the moment. But here comes an assault squad to uh, change up the balance, and once again this machine gunner is going to wreak havoc, or maybe not. Maybe he's not in the right area, but hey, there's an M1AT gun back there from Constantini in a nice position on the hill. Uh, actually, I don't think he can shoot over that little mound that's in front of him, so he probably wants to put it up here and try and take some shots at that P3. I definitely think he could range that from there. Shelt is a very, very long map, but then when you get into the middle where all the action is, it becomes a very, very short map. It's, it's, very, diff it's very weird. It plays very, very differently to most other maps. That was a very nice grenade kill there from the conscript of Constantini, I might add. But here comes the Panzer III. He's going to try and take out that building. Hasn't seen the M1AT gun though, Rochford, so this is probably going to be very, very deadly for himself. And also doesn't have infantry up around here. And there you go, hull destroyed. He needed some infantry up in front of his tank. I'm amazed he didn't see the M1AT gun, actually, as I think that might have been a little bazooka man hiding behind there. But yes, that is the first sin of Men of War Assault Squad as Strat29 has... Uh, named it and calls it constantly. If you move up with a vehicle and don't have infantry support uh, in front of you, you're in for a bad time. That is for sure. Machine gunner in that wall still. I'm amazed that the veteran sniper of uh, Rochford hasn't actually relocated itself to somewhere around here, or at least he microed it so he could take out that machine gun. But here comes some shotgunners across the river of Constantini. He's going to easily take out that rifleman or that assault SMG soldier who's going to do nothing but the assault SMG soldier behind the tree that has fallen down after being pinned down by the machine gun. He was easily able to pop up and take the dividends or take the spoils of war. But here comes a 30 cal team, is that? I think that might have been a 30 cal machine gun just there. Yes, it is a 30 cal machine gun. Uh, team accompanied by some Marines moving up, but unfortunately the uh, Assault Squad Soldier response of Rochford is kind of failing a little bit. Uh, the other grenade was absolutely useless as he ended up killing it, but I suppose the grenades of Rochford are going to end up hitting their mark as they will not kill that rifleman. I thought they would, but unfortunately they didn't, and surely these couple of soldiers should be picked off. There's one, all he needs to do is get that SMG soldier there, and he's probably going to win this fight, but here comes a beautiful grenade from Constantini. Lovely over that wall, and will pick himself up a juicy double kill as one German soldier completely disappeared and someone threw some smoke grenades for some strange reason. I'm sure that might have been a micro error. Assault squad soldiers up here. Assault squad soldiers down there. They're everywhere at the moment, but unfortunately there's not the micro that is needed from concert, uh, from Rochford Jays losing some of his soldiers unnecessarily, or just one of his soldiers unnecessarily I guess, but he's bought a flak 37, a 38, sorry, which is a decent buy, but here comes an N19 from Constantini and that is going to tear up absolutely every single bit of infantry that is located on the field. Unless that Flak 38 might have got lucky and maybe got like a track shot or something. Oh, he's main gunned it! Ooh, if he's able to track this M19, this could be a very, very large turn of events in the better for our German player. Uh, Roger J's moved up. I still don't think 
He realizes, oh, that was a very, very nice kill. The sniper just flashed up and killed Rochev's veteran sniper while he's trying to micro and track this M19. Unfortunately, he won't be able to, but here comes a Panzer H. That M1 AT gun is still around, but this has actually delayed Constantini just that enough. So now the M19 is completely out of the equation, or is it engine damage on fire? No, it's just engine damage. It's not completely out of the equation, but that has really, really destroyed Constantini's ideas, I think. And if we can see some nice micro, which I think we are about to see from Rochford J, we could see the middle point capped for the Germans and him start ticking up. And I think it's given him a huge advantage in rolling out this H. Rochford, it's a very, very smart buy. I've only seen him buy one Brandenburger squad as well, so he's definitely got a lot of cash in the bank or see, uh, hero points in the bank, but that's not Sniper back here is definitely doing some big damage to the German soldiers. I saw him take out another assault rifleman who was there. And the M1 AT gun is going to try and take out this Flak 38 with some HE shells. It's actually hitting the brickwork at the moment, those stone bricks. And the AP shell finally hits it. Does some wheel damage and some, I guess, structure damage, you could say. And then the HE shell finally destroys it. And that uh, Flak 38 will be taking no further part in this game. The right hand side is being capped by. I can hear by shotgunners, and I think it might be by shotgunners, as they're in beautiful positions there from Constantini, firing out that little window, and jeez, he was able to cut them all, <laughs> he just got a double kill, he just hit the recoil on these weapons, and just the splash damage is huge, he just killed two assault squad soldiers with the one shotgunner, but unfortunately they're taken out by a grenade, and it starts being decapped, but then he ran out of the zone, Rochford, come back and get in that zone and start capping it, my friend, and stop making so many micro mistakes, unfortunately, I always thought that Constantini was more suited for this map because of the micro that he is currently showing and the shotgunners are completely tearing up any of Rochford's infantry. That'll be a nice grenade throw from Constantini. We're going to see another triple kill in grenades. No, we're not going to see another triple kill in grenades because he threw it to the completely wrong area. Another assault squad from Rochford J. Some Panzergrens would do uh, quite nicely if he could, I guess. Some more elite infantry, some heavier infantry around the place, but I suppose they can be cut up easily by shotgunners as well because shotgun is just so overpowered in these situations. This guy needs to find himself an SMG. He has no, uh, he doesn't have one strapped to him or he isn't holding one currently. So he needs to find himself a weapon of some sort to defend himself with. Right-hand side is being capped by our man Rochford J. The middle is also being capped by our man Rochford J. And here comes a beautiful grenade throw from Constantine, easily going to pick off, well, I guess he died anyway, but he's easily going to be able to pick off that soldier. The M1 AT gun is going up against the... How the hell did the H end up in that position? I'm actually quite unhappy that I didn't get to see it end up in this position. Jeez, it must have been a comedy of errors happening, as that is now hull damaged, and it's safe to say this tank will no longer be featuring in this game, as that is completely destroyed, that M19. I cannot see the triangle on my map. The Stuart might be just about to come up. It looks like it's fully repaired. I can also hear some sort of tank in the background, maybe another M19, which I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, Rochford make sure he gets in that zone down low. It's 3 to 40 right now. The game is to 50. Unfortunately, Strat didn't uh, put it to the right. <laughs> Rochford, man. Come on. Let's just spread out some infantry. That was probably not the greatest move. As Constantine was also at a business meeting, or a, yeah, a, a business meeting, and he's playing in his work uniform right now, and he's putting it up to Rochford J. There you go. He's got some Panzer Grenadiers just here rolling out and all the M9 in is going to cut them up and this is going to be fun to watch I'm really going to enjoy watching these yeah there we go oh that is just death upon death upon death as the Panzer Grenadiers are trying to get away got himself a bit half a squad there here it comes they're going to finish off the rest of them and that is probably going to be GG unless this left handed side push can actually come to something I don't think it is though with the Stuart there and also the amount of infantry around there he is not going to be able to do anything Rochford J Constantini looks like he'll be taking the first in the best of the second is on Kreuzberg as well, which also helps with uh, Constantine's micro. And those shotgunners, as you can see, are cutting up these Panzer Grenadiers. He just threw the grenade in time, and finally, they get the kill. But uh, I'm pretty sure this guy was de-weaponed as well. Yes, he does not, not have a weapon on him anymore. It's 3 to 43 right now. The M19 is going to back back. It, it's not really needed. The middle's being capped by the Germans, so it's actually stagnant right now. That's actually quite impressive. Maybe he killed off all those soldiers. But then he gets himself killed anyway by shooting at the M19, which was never going to work. Here comes a Panzer three from Rochford. So it's not game over. Uh, he bought a stew as well. That's uh, a little bit uh, not worrying, but that's a little bit uh, mind-boggling. I wouldn't uh, buy a stew personally on this map, but he uh, a stew, not a stew, a stew personally on this map. But he probably could destroy the cover on this side, so it might be a good buy. That Panzer three though 
needs to be careful. It wants to get itself some M19 kill though. It gets hull destroyed by the AT gun there. So I guess that was probably always going to happen. The Stu's going to take out that AT gun though. Very, very nice. I think the Stu taking out the AT gun, then the Panzer III rolling up would have been the better option. But he's going to have to be very, very aggressive with his Stu 42 right now. As he sees that M19, he might try and track it or even hull destroy it. He's probably not going to be able to reload in time. And unfortunately, that M19 is going to escape away into the fog of war. Escape away into the fog of war, I should say. And these old SMG infantry are doing light work against the uh, 30 cal man that is right there, that machine gunner. And unfortunately, is it a 30 cal? Yes, it is a 30 cal. Good eyesight from myself. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to cap back the middle. The right-hand side is also falling as the Panzer Grenadiers are being eaten up by the airborne soldiers and the Stuart combination. That grenade explosion doesn't do much, and he was going to try and probably run out and throw TNT or an AT grenade at the Stuart, but unfortunately it did not work for him. Here comes some paratroopers over from Rushford, so maybe there is still hope. One thing Rushford could have done is probably micro that sniper out of the game a little bit earlier. I don't know if this sniper is still in the game, but having him out of the game a lot earlier would have been very, very constructive and helpful, as I'm just pressing V and C to make pretty lights go on and off. The Stu 42 versus Stuart battle. I think the Stuart might win. I'd be interesting if the M19 run down from the side and took it out. But this is pretty much all over. The first game is going to go to Concertini. He might even get himself a lucky Stu kill, which might make it the highlights if I decide to make any for this game. He's doing some nice little strafing. Gets a Kruinger. He's probably going to run around and track it and stuff like that. Ooh, actually, he might not be able to get time. <laughs> Track damage and surely the paratroopers will run over and destroy it anytime soon, Rochford. The paratroopers will run over and destroy it anytime soon, Rochford. There we go. He's acting on prompt and the engine damage goes up on the Stuart and that will be killing no stew today. 3 to 49. Well played. GG to all. I'll catch you for the second game, which should be in the following minutes. Actually, wait, no, it's not actually game over. How does he keep capping the middle? He's got one paratrooper there. It's 3 to 49. I'm going to say we are not about to see another epic like we saw the Tenshi, uh, Tenshi and somebody else game where it was 30 to 49 and it was a decap and then the person was able to come storming home and get a win. The Stu 42 versus uh, Croc. It's going to have to be very, very lucky this Stu 42 to take out the Croc. And Rochford is really going to be uh, calling on his lucky stars if he was able to somehow win this game and win this engagement, which is probably...